Now, please welcome to the TEDxSF stage, Tanvi Shah. Long before we are ready to see the world, long before we even breathe it, we begin to hear it. In the mother's womb, for long, sound is our only sense and the world's constant and only signal that all is well. From when life begins, and even before you know it has begun, the world attempts to reach you, to touch you, with sound. Overlaid on your mother's heartbeat, harmonized by your own, this sound becomes its own kind of music. And this is the music we listen to every single moment for as long as we live. Think about it. A heartbeat made you sleep when you were a baby. Then, lullabies took its place. As you grew, all kinds of music entertained you, moved you, and expressed feelings you didn't even know you felt. Music comforted you. Music is what I do for a living. It's what I do for love. And so to me, it means life itself. A romantic notion, perhaps, but maybe I could convince you that there's something more to it. The power of music to heal is being actively researched by the scientific community. While the cause is not yet fully understood, the effect is undeniable. I consider it magical that in my own life, I've had a brush with this tremendous healing power of music. And it all begins with a song. To me, the song closest to my heart is not the one which got me the Grammy or any other award. And maybe you have never heard that song before. But this is the song that the mother of four-year-old Dave plays every single night to calm her autistic child and help him get a good night's sleep. Those of you who have little ones will vouch for how difficult it can be to put a baby to sleep. And with autism, this seemingly simple routine can actually be very stressful for the parent and tremendously traumatic for the child who does not feel safe enough to sleep because of the higher levels of anxiety that autistic children feel. A song that started off with a few of us jamming in the studio, originally composed by none other than Mr. A.R. Rahman, made its way around the world over the internet and social media and reached Dave. He listens to it every night at bedtime. His parents say it calms him it makes him smile, and it helps him go slowly and surely to sleep. Now, can music cure cancer? I don't know. Can music bring about world peace? I don't know. But what I do know is that music can help an anxious child find peace and calm to smile blissfully in his sleep. And that is a great starting point for me, for all of us. This song goes out to Dave and everyone who's experienced the power of healing through music. I know I have. And I hope it touches all of you and helps you wake up to the possibilities, the millions of possibilities within every tune, every note, every song, and most importantly, every single person.